Dallas Mavs Injury Report Updates The Dallas Mavericks do not return to game action until they face the Utah Jazz on Wednesday at American Airlines Center. The team resumed practices after having Sunday off following a back-to-back. -back. The Mavs played Saturday's 126-120 loss to the Oklahoma City Thunder without Kyrie Irving, foot soreness, Dante Exum, personal reasons, Tim Hardaway Jr., back spasms, Josh Green, right elbow sprain, and Maxi Kleber, right small toe dislocation. On Monday, Irving, Exum, and Hardaway participated in practice, while Green and Kleber remained sidelined, while Grant Williams, knee soreness, also didn't play. Kleber, who has been sidelined since November 11 after initially trying to play through his toe injury, still doesn't have a new update about his status. There was supposed to be a re-evaluation in a couple of weeks when the initial information was provided. No, there's no new updates, Kid said of Kleber. He's working in the weight room and been on the court for spot shooting, but that's it. No running. When asked if Green's injury will require more of a long-term recovery process, Kidd admitted he doesn't know if that's the case. What's known is Green didn't practice on Monday, and there will be new information later. He didn't practice and got treatment today, and I think we'll have more information tomorrow, Kidd said of Green. Irving was sidelined for the Mavs' loss against the Thunder but fully participated in Monday's practice. Kidd described his practice participation as involving everything and liked what he saw. Yeah, it was fine, Kidd said of Irving. He went through everything today. It was good. One player who has already received increased opportunities due to the long list of injuries is A.J. Lawson, playing his second season with the Mavs organization on a two-way contract. He played 19 minutes against the Thunder, recording 12 points and two assists with three made threes. I understand his toughness, his ability to score, shoot, and then on the defensive end, he competes, Kid said of Lawson. He's trying to do the right things all the time, and that's a big thing. He was a big part of that comeback the other night. He's been in the program now for a bit. While it sounds like help will be coming soon, Lawson could continue to see opportunities if Green remains sidelined. Another player to watch is rookie Olivier Maxence Prosper, 